Heavy winds overnight bringing trees down all across the metro. So this is in West Atlanta along Baker's Ferry Road. Our crew on the scene says the road is blocked off as crews work to get everything cleared, all that debris out there from the scene. And this is a scene in DeKalb County early this morning along Lawrenceville Highway. Before you get to Jimmy Carter Boulevard, police had to block the road there as well as they clean up from all of that debris in the roadway. And let's take you live outside of Sandy Springs at Georgia 400. Look at the flag over Northside Hospital. That says it all. The wind's still whipping around out there, causing some trouble around the metro. And Cheryl, we just learned that Meriwether County Schools, they transitioned to remote learning today because of hazardous road conditions from all of the recent rainfall causing that flooding there. Officials say it is not safe to transport those students to and from school. We are so glad you are joining us this morning. It is our job to bring this information to keep you and your family safe. Meteorologist Chesley McNeil joins us. Chesley, wind advisories early this morning. How long will that stick around? 7 a.m. is when the wind advisory will start to die off, uh, or will expire, but those winds won't die off until later on this evening. We'll see those winds anywhere between 15, 20 miles per hour right on through the rest of the afternoon. That still could cause some problems for us, something we need to be on the lookout for. We're dealing with the clouds at least this morning, but no rain coming out of those clouds at all. And these clouds will start to break down as we head through mid morning. We'll get the sunshine back in here, so that'll be a good sign for us. Again, here's the wind advisory. You can see it for much of the viewing area. Again, gusts could be in the 40 mile per hour range still this morning. We felt that or at least heard it through the overnight last night. Those winds again going down to about 15 to 20 miles per hour through the afternoon. It won't be until after about five or six o'clock that we'll start to see them get down into the single digits, even becoming calm tonight, which will allow that temperature to fall off once again down into the 30s. So it will be a cool start for your Valentine's Day as well. We are starting off in the 40s this morning, but with the winds that we have out there, it feels like the 30s. Feels like 34 degrees right now in Atlanta. Feels like 31 in Duluth. Feels like 39 degrees over toward George's Rome. Feels like 29 in Blairsville. So you may want to start off with that coat. You may keep it on through the afternoon as temperatures will remain on the cool side with the breezy conditions. 48 by noon on our way to 54 below our average for this time of year for today. We're going to rebound nicely for tomorrow as we hold on to that sunshine. We're going to talk about it in the full forecast.